Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of mine and today we have something a little bit different this is of course the Converge figures this is actually my very first Converge figures that I got as I mentioned um, in my previous video the Strike Freedom Tapan review I've been to Hong Kong recently so yeah I, um, I wanted to get either this Converge figure or another Master Grade but instead I decided to get on this um, Converge figures because it's actually very difficult to get in Malaysia and even if there is available stocks um, it's actually quite pricey and I got this whole stack and of course you guys can see here this is the new Gundam I sort of opened it just to see one of it the rest are still unopened so we'll be very interested to see and then I got this like say Hong Kong 165 if you um, more or less divide by 2 to Malaysia Regate that's only like RM82.5 so I think it's really very cheap for this price to get 5 converge figures because if I'm not mistaken 1 it's maybe around 20 so here 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 is almost 120 ringgit already so yeah I guess this whole set is quite worth so yeah without further ado I'm very excited to open this with you guys so yeah let's get on to it so like I say I've already um, opened this converge new Gundam so I might as well start with it so as you guys can see here the side here and then at the back here you guys can see this is one whole set together this is 13 all the way to 18 so yeah and i've checked the rest at the back this is supposed to be the series that it, it is from so yeah you guys can see here all right now let's just start with the unboxing so as you guys can see there is four plus um five plastic one you have the mobile suit then you have these weapons then you have the shield you have the weapon and you have the gun um now let's just cut it open so um while i'm here i just want to talk about i think i'm planning to get my next kit it's um this rx93 as well as the sasabi from tapan as you guys know um in malaysia uh, average price for sasabi is around 300 i think it's around 300 ringgit so it's definitely out of my range so that's why i'm getting the tapan version instead of the original bandai so yeah and then new gundam as well i'll be getting the tapa version i've i've um although the version have the tapa version for new gundam has been out for quite some time and i've watched a couple of reviews on it and it's actually have received some very um good po um positive reviews although although like i always say there will be some negative because uh, it's not original bandai but still for the price that you're getting i think it's fine with it so yeah, I really can't wait to get my hands on to it. So yeah, anyway, let me just sort these plastics out, then I'll get back to you guys. So because this figure is on a smaller scale side, so I'll zoom in um, a little bit. So like I said, um, there is a detail part here. Yeah, you guys can see the box art over here. You can see the eyes actually go color. So let me just try and show you guys. So yeah, here it is. So you guys can see, I'm not sure you guys can really see it, but there is a uh, really like uh, detail on the eyes here. And then here is the full new Gundam over here. I'm not sure if there's, yeah, okay, there is a articulation. Can go up and down like that. The legs, the legs is fixed, so yeah, can't do much. This beam saber handle is fixed as well, so yeah. Now, let's just put on the weave fin. Let's see how easy as yet and you guys want to see here is a transparent piece over here so yeah okay there is articulation on the head as well so yeah it's good to see um, left to right you can't go up you can't go up a little bit maybe yeah so here it is with the weave fin now let's mount on the backpack first so the backpack is here here is the pack um is it it's like that yeah so yeah it's again very secure so it's like that then next is the weapon here is the beam rifle over here um yeah got it like that so you can hold up like that and then here is the shield if i'm not mistaken last time there is like a gashapon for these figures but of course now they make it a little bit much more detailed so yep here is the very first converge figure rx93 is done so here is how it looks like let me focus if i can 
so yeah here it is like that looks almost the same as the box art so yep now one converged figure is done let's take a look at another converged figures so i will start banshee last because i think banshee is the most interesting among all of that so let's start with this um i'm not sure which um gundam is this but um, based on the oops here but uh, based on the site here this is as well as a normal gundam series you guys can see same as the rx93 where is it yeah you guys can see here same as the rx93 so yeah i think this should be the uc part so yep then here you guys can see once it completed this is how it looks like again the eyes and they focus on the green color screen up there then yeah the rest is just like that let me just quickly open it and sort the plastic out and i'll get back to you guys once again so as well this have one two three four five plastics together again so yeah now as always i'll sort out the plastic first so here it is with all the parts that it comes with so like i said just now they're kind of focused again with the eyes let me just see so yeah again here's sort of like a small eyes detail and then articulation would be the same let me just refocus so of course the articulation go up and down again then the head not much this time because um maybe due to the backpack over here so you guys want to see here is thrusters here so yep next uh let's put on the refin again so yep the refin here is done and just now they said they have like sort of like a green color uh come on focus yeah um it's inside there so yeah you guys can see the camera up there so yeah the refin is done now let's mount on the bazooka let me just take a look how it should looks like so yeah both bazooka it's on so again looks great uh, actually i just now this one is just now this one i try to put here is actually the other way around so that's why i can't fit so yeah um, normal articulation can move up but again you guys can see it will hit the refin just a little bit if you move towards um, more towards the side so yeah don't really want to touch it next on just mount on the beam rifle um, again it's very tight so yeah got it so now here it is the beam rifle over here just like that sadly the leg can't move so i guess if you want a chibi kind of gunpla then i guess you got, you will need to go and get yourself a next edge so yeah here it is here this is how it looks like and it's done so now let's take now let's move on to another converge figure so our next converge figure we have this mobile suit over here it's called bound dock uh, i've i don't know about this mobile suit at all zero knowledge but yeah, you guys can see it can actually transform. And then this is from the series of series from Z Gundam. So I think I should really go and watch the Z Gundam that's available on YouTube. So yeah, let me again just remove everything and show you guys what it contains. So yeah, over here there is one. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are a total of seven parts here. It's quite a lot. As you guys know that it can be transformed into this small part over here so let me just remove all the plastic yet again so yeah this is how it looks like when every all the plastics are removed so from the first part we of course want to try and do this part over this part over here because it's the simplest so of course this would be this part and then it would be hmm how do i how do i fix on it let me just have a look it should look something like this but yeah, let me just um, now just make it back into its full mobile suit. So based on how it looks, this should be mount on like that. So yeah, this is like the only logical way I can do it. Now of course you guys can see it doesn't fit. So this is more of like a short display. So yeah, it's just like that. So yeah, now let's move on to its full mobile suit. Alright, so now we're back and I tell you this is actually one of the better looking mobile suit i mean although it is in chibi style but still looks great i mean look at the head as well you can see the eye over here maybe i'll just focus 
yeah you guys can see the eye it's actually really great looking you guys can see it from the back here there you, can, you guys can see the hand so yeah again it looks great rather simple one but still looks great and you guys can see a big thrusters over here so yeah let me just show you guys how it looks like how, oh there's actually a gimmick over here you can actually open and close here so yeah i think that's really it so yep here based on the side of the mobile suit so yeah another another chibi one is done now we take a look at this one over here this is um this is almost like the same not sure again here it can transform just a different color so yeah again let me just remove the plastic and i'll get back to you guys so yeah again here it is the other side over here again this is from the z gundam so yeah not sure how is it so let me just remove this rather quickly so again it should have the same parts yep here it is there are one two three four five six seven this two sharp piece i mean these two sharp pieces is going to be on the head so yeah let me again remove the plastic and fix it right in front of you guys so again here we're back now this part here is like a pink color then here maybe the thrusters you guys want to see so yeah yet again let me just pick up yeah it should be supposed to i guess looks like this just a small chibi like that but again we won't be doing that instead we'll be using this one so instead this part you should connect this part and this part so yeah just now i took some time let's hope that this will be a quick one so yeah here it is oh let me just push it back in so yeah it's inside so good to see now let's put on the hands this hand it's like a shield so it's gonna be on here then this here again so it's rather same the gimmick you can open and close and actually pop out rather easily so yeah and can pop it in very easily so yep let me just focus let's hope it does and then here the head just stuck it in and you're done so next here the fin if i'm not mistaken it's the other side there it is then over here So, yep, here it is. Another converge done. So, you guys can see his eye. I just want to let you guys look at the eye over here. Because they sort of kind of emphasize on it. So, yeah, just small eyes over here. So, comparison like that. Let me just focus. So, yeah, just like this. Another converge figure done. Now, we take on the interesting part, which is the camphor over here so yeah there's only two more to go so let's not waste any more time so yeah camphor over here this is one of the figure that i actually want to get as in gunpla the master grade one so yeah i hope they actually have a 2.0 remaster it because i think it deserve it this of course from the uc so yeah you guys can see he actually have the big gun and the mega bazooka so yeah that's really good so let me again remove everything and i'll come back to you guys so there's one two three four five parts of it so yeah without further ado now let's come on and put it in so of course you guys can see there's two hanger over here this to put on the mega bazooka and this there's two mega bazooka and you have one the machine gun the primary weapon so first now let's put on the wee fin first and it's not really wee fin i mean the horn i guess more the zaku and gundam can't really say it's the uh within so yep here it is done very easily then now we'll just put one here his machine gun over here so next part of um i'm gonna let him hold the mega bazooka here as well so let's try instead i'll be mounting mounting only one um it's like proved to be quite difficult to find the hole i'm not sure if, if this or oh, this bazooka let's hope is this yep it's this one so yeah here is how it looks like with its bazooka and its machine gun over here so yeah now 
let's try to mount on the other part of the bazooka it's this it should be here yeah there's a gap there's a gap here you guys can see so it mount on just fine so yep here is the next edge i mean <laughs> i'm sorry the camphor so yeah here is the box art comparison again maybe just let you guys have a look at the eyes it's not focused to the eyes then yeah here it is sort of like a crystal eyes over here so yeah this is the second one now let's take a look at the very last one which is the bungee over here so yeah the box art is just here at the side of course you guys you see it's the universal century unicorn the arc and then here it is then the side here is just like that so yeah again let me remove the plastic and i'll get back to you guys so yeah there are a total of one two three four five six seven parts so yep this i think this would be the best save the best for the last again you guys can see the head it's actually not bad let me just focus on the eyes so yeah you guys can see here very much detail so i'm i'm actually quite happy with this so now let's just put on put i'm not sure which one should i put on first so you are supposed to have this horn over here first then the weave in just slide it on top so that it looks like that took me some time to figure out but then finally i got it so yeah now here the head is done finally took some time then next year we shall put on the backpack first so yeah the two backpack now finally done now let's move on to the shield the shield of course is this part here as you can see there should be a clip over here I'll just put it side here so yeah here it's done the banshee this is the banshee destroy mode so yeah would be really good if i can get the this the uh, unicorn mode so yep here it is the completed version for the converge figure of the banshee norm destroy mode so yeah here comparison again with the box art over here so yeah again looking quite good quite happy with this so yeah just like let me just put it down so yeah here it is all the completed one two three four five six of the converge figure over here so which one do i think is the best looking i think the best looking is still the banshee norm and then the second one i guess it will be the camphor third would be the new gundam so yeah overall um it's quite all right i think based on the money that i paid for maybe i don't think it's worth it but i guess if there's like maybe just a unicorn then maybe i'll get it next time but if you ask me whether i would get it again i'm i don't i'm not really sure i don't think i would get it instead i think i'd rather spend my money on some next age style which i'm planning to get very soon so yeah that's it for today's um sort of quick unboxing and review i hope you guys have really enjoyed it because i think yeah for the first time i guess it's all right i'm still quite content with it with the price that i paid so yeah that's it in that's it for today's video i hope you guys really have enjoyed today's video if you guys do have enjoyed please do not forget to drop a like down below and of course if any of your friends are interested you guys can share my video to them to let them have a look and decide whether they want to buy it or not so yeah anyway if you guys are new around here please do not forget to drop a um, please do not forget to subscribe to me because there will be more videos like this coming soon be it figure um this kind gunpla related and of course gunpla unboxing and review so yeah don't miss out any of it because i will be up i will be uploading more very soon so yeah that's it i hope you guys have a very good day and yeah see you guys very soon